General Paper Preservation Tips General Paper Preservation Tips is the second in a series of tutorials produced by the State Historical Records Advisory Board and the State Archives of North Carolina. Support for this series is made possible through a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission. Before you can preserve paper, you first need to know how it deteriorates. There are three main causes of paper damage. This tutorial will describe the way paper materials can deteriorate and the steps you can take to prevent or retard the process. The first way paper can deteriorate is inherent vice, meaning problems with how the material itself was created. The mechanization of paper making in the 1840s and the introduction of ground wood pulp instead of rag pulp made paper cheaper and more accessible. However, it also resulted in paper that ages poorly and becomes brittle easily. The majority of paper from the mid-19th century until today is in danger of becoming brittle. Environmental conditions can play a strong role in paper preservation. Poor conditions can accelerate deterioration, cause yellowing of paper, and fading of ink. The environment can also cause mold growth and an influx of airborne contaminants, including soot, grime, and chemicals. Finally, the way objects are used, including how they are stored and handled, can cause deterioration. This would include folding paper, tears, creases, staples, and paper clips. Acid migration, or the transfer of acid substances between two surfaces in contact with each other, can occur from adjacent materials. Poor storage can result in damage from pests, some of which like to eat paper as a snack, and others that like to make a nest out of paper. Unfortunately, not a lot can be done to combat inherent vice in materials. Sometimes there are chemical solutions that a trained conservator can carry out, but these are oftentimes complicated and expensive, and sometimes paper is just too brittle. No treatment can restore flexibility to brittle paper. It can only slow down further deterioration. One solution would be to reformat the object by making a scan of the document. Using this as an access copy will help preserve the original by reducing the amount of wear and tear the fragile paper receives. However, sometimes reformatting is exchanging one problem for another. Now you have two objects to take care of. For more information on creating digital files, see the tutorial, Managing and Preserving Digital Images. Where you store your treasures will likely have the biggest effect on their long-term preservation. Paper collections should be stored at a constant 70 degrees Fahrenheit or below and around 50% relative humidity, but this certainly isn't always attainable. For preserving items at home, keep your objects somewhere you are comfortable with good airflow. Keep objects out of the attic and out of the basement. You should also avoid bathrooms as they tend to have high humidity fluctuations. Try not to place objects directly on the floor in case of a flood or leak and not underneath water pipes or heating vents. Another helpful tip to preserving your paper documents is to keep them away from light. Light accelerates deterioration and can cause darkening and yellowing of paper. Most importantly, light damage accumulates over time and is irreversible. Consider displaying a high quality reproduction of your document. If you must display the original, consider glass that filters UV rays, conservation quality matting, and choosing a display spot out of direct sunlight. Dusting and regular maintenance of your storage area will help avoid a buildup of pollutants and grime. There are several solutions to combat deterioration of paper from use, including storage and handling. For family treasures you wish to preserve, it is important that you use archival quality materials to house them. 
because archival quality is a generic term without any regulation behind it, sometimes you have to be a detective and look for clues that something is truly archival quality, meaning it is designed to last for many years and won't contribute to the deterioration of the object as it ages. Paper, tissues, folders, and boxes should be acid-free, meaning a neutral pH or even buffered with a slight alkaline reserve. Ideally, they should also be free of lignin. Lignin is a natural component of plants, including wood that is ground into paper pulp. As lignin deteriorates over time, it produces acids, which turn paper yellow and brown. Lignin can be removed from the pulp during the paper making process, resulting in a paper which lasts longer and can be considered archival. Some people prefer to be able to see objects easily. In this case, a polyester sleeve may be appropriate. Use caution when purchasing polyester, as all plastics are not created equal. The polyester should be inert, contain no plasticizers, and have no coatings. Also, polyester has a natural static charge, which is what helps the sleeve stay together. However, this static is bad for flaking media, so polyester should not be used for graphite, pastels, chalks, or any other friable media meaning any media which is crumbly, fragile, or easily brushes away when touched. The first rule of preservation is to do no harm. Often, doing nothing is better than a homemade solution, as these usually just make more work for a conservator later down the road, and sometimes can cause irreversible damage. Tape is probably the most frequent culprit, and one of the worst, Tape can cause irreversible damage in as little as six months. Avoid using staples or paper clips that will rust on documents. Stored objects should be checked periodically and monitored for insect activity and mold growth. Another way to extend the life of your documents is to handle them properly. Always wash your hands before touching your treasures and treat paper gently. Try not to place other items on top of your objects and by all means keep the coffee a safe distance away. These simple steps can avert a larger crisis. There may be a time when you have to consult a professional. Professional conservation treatment can be expensive, so it's best to focus on items that have long-term value. One time to always consult a conservator is when the material you're dealing with might have a health concern, such as mold. Understanding the ways that paper deteriorates can provide the basis for preservation practices. Proper care and handling of your paper materials will extend their life. There are many valuable resources to help you care for your archival paper materials. The American Institute for Conservation is a professional organization for conservators. The AIC supports a specialty group for those interested in books and paper. There are links to Find a Conservator and How to Choose a Conservator. The website of the Northeast Document Conservation Center provides a series of preservation leaflets on their website that can provide more detailed information about controlling pests and addressing mold. The website of the National Archives and Records Administration has tips for preserving paper, book, AV, and electronic objects. The Library of Congress preservation pages contain several links to information about all types of preservation. There are several regional conservation centers such as ECS Conservation in Brown Summit, North Carolina, the Conservation Center for Art and Historic Artifacts in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and the Northeast Document Conservation Center in Andover, Massachusetts. Archival supply catalogs can be obtained from companies such as Gaylord Brothers, University Products, Hollinger Metal Edge, and Talis. The State Archives of North Carolina can help too with suggestions and guidance about preserving your paper materials. Contact Emily Rainwater, Conservator at 919-807-7330 or emily.rainwater at ncdcr.gov. 
General Paper Preservation Tips is made possible through a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission. Special thanks to Emily Rainwater, Sarah Kuntz, Chris Meekins, Francesca Perez, Kelly Eubank, and Andrea Gabriel. Other tutorials in this series include identifying and protecting essential family records, caring for and sharing family and personal papers, the care and preservation of family photographs, and managing and preserving digital images.